Hey everyone, this is Dean with DCA Crypto. Today I've got a Solana strategy video with you guys. As you guys know, Solana is one of my biggest holdings. It's actually currently my biggest holding right now. I'm still accumulating some others, so we'll see which one ends up being the largest in my portfolio. But right now Solana is. I'm gonna go through this with you guys and show you my strategy and how to turn 300 Solana into a million dollars. I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Please give this video a quick like and help with the YouTube algorithm to get it out to more viewers. All right, let's jump into it. All right, 300 Solana guys into a million dollars. Now, currently Solana is right around $20. So that's kind of what uh, I, my average, I think on Solana right now is about $18 or something like that. So a little less than 6,000 invested into Solana over uh, the average right now, what I got invested in it. So uh, really still in a good buying zone right around $20 right now. If it dips down again in September, or we get any of these corrections coming up, I'm gonna maybe add some more to my portfolio if I have the funds available. There's just so many good cryptos out there and so many good deals during this accumulation phase that you can't get them all. I was focusing on Solana for a long time and I got 300 in my portfolio now and I've been adding more and more quant and some others. So I kind of backed off from Solana and, and uh, just uh, seeing how it does. Now I'm currently staking my Solana. So I'm trying to build, let that build up up until the next bull run while it's just sitting there waiting. And I've got some, uh, most of my Solana staking in the uh, Phantom wallet. I think it's around seven and a half to 8%. And that's uh, all decentralized. That's uh, safe staking through Solana's uh, platform on their wallet. So I, I recommend doing that mostly. I'm also staking some of my Solana on the Cryptonomy uh, platform, but that is a higher risk platform. So I'm not putting a lot on there just because it is uh, any yield platforms. They can be high risk. So I just put a little bit on there to see how it does, but nothing that I wouldn't be able to afford to lose if something were to happen to them. Uh, but they've been really good uh, so far, but we'll see how that goes. I'd be curious to see what kind of interest I earn on that. But I think that I think that's right around uh, 17 to 18% or something like that for the, uh, for the variable staking. I can pull that out at any time. Anyways, we're gonna show you how, what I, my plan is in the upcoming bull run. As, it, as I told you before, my price predictions for Solana are between the $250 to $400 range on the uh, average uh, what I think it's gonna do in the bull run. I'm, I'm shooting probably for that $400 range is what I think it's gonna get up to, but I'm a strong believer in taking profits on the way up, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do in this example. Just because you could have a black swan event or anything happen at any time, you don't know where the top is and you don't know where your coin is at necessarily in that cycle when it's when it's blowing up because it really is based off from emotion mostly. And if there's any big news, it can really push your coins up just massively in the bull run. I mean massively in the bull run. If you've never been through one, it's going to absolutely blow your mind when it happens, how much crypto can shoot up just in a matter of uh, minutes really it's absolutely amazing uh, you'll just see the chart going like this and this and this and this yeah, i mean you just watch bitcoin in a bull run and it'll it'll absolutely blow your mind what it does it's it's crazy but anyways you're going to sell uh i'm going to sell 50 i'm not telling you guys what to do you can copy this if you want but that's your choice and your your decision on what you want to do with your uh, investments but i'm going to sell uh, try to sell 50 of the Solana at around $200 and I'm probably not going to do right at $200 probably gonna be like $190 $195 or something before it gets to that rounded number that everybody's gonna be selling at and uh, you know there's gonna be some profit taking at the $200 mark but I'm gonna sell 50 at that mark it's gonna get me about $10,000 in my wallet now I've already made more than my initial investment right off the bat and I'm probably in about a little over four thousand dollars of profit at that point after my initial six thousand dollar investment and then i'm going to take and sell 50 at around 225 dollar uh, range and grab another eleven thousand something in my in my wallet at that point and pure profit I'm riding at all profit at this point with no risk at all uh you know just risk of losing higher gains or or, or lower money but no risk of losing my initial investment and then I'm gonna sell another 50 
at the uh, $250 mark, probably in the 245 range, and get it a little over 12,000 in my in my portfolio in my wallet locked in, and then I'm going to take out another 50 at 275 for 13,750, another 50 around the you know probably 295 to 300 dollar range, and then the last 50 I'm going to probably just let that ride and see how it does, but I could take it out at around the 350 dollar mark and block in $17,500, which is absolutely freaking amazing on uh, what you can do with crypto. But, uh, you know, you might say, well, Dean, why aren't you going to wait for $350 or $300 to start selling? Because I don't know that it's going to hit that amount. That's just a guess. You can't tell me it's going to hit that amount. Nobody knows. I know lots of coins that I think we're going to get to a certain dollar amount in the last bull run that never hit it. Uh, I think these are realistic targets. I think they're legitimately realistic based off of historical measures with other large cap uh, blue chip altcoins and what they did in previous bull runs, but you don't know for sure. Uh, you know, Solana's adding more and more utility than it ever has before. It's continually growing, so I think it'll beat its all time high, but there's no guarantee that it will. So I'm going to take out profits on the way up and I'm going to guarantee myself some profit and not get stuck holding the bag in case it crashes before then. You just want to be really careful. If this example plays out, I'm going to have about $80,000 total in my uh, in my uh, wallet after taking these profits on the way up. And, you know, obviously that's not a million dollars yet, but my strategy is long term with this one and Quant and a few others. I'm going to try to turn these all into a million dollars and see which one makes it. One of them may not, none of them may not, but I'm gonna to try to make this happen. And these are realistic price targets and realistic time frames on how I could do that. I'm thinking long-term guys, I'm not thinking just short-term. So what I'm gonna do is take that $80,000, I'm gonna to have to pay about 15% in taxes where I live, because I've been, I'll be holding it for more than a year. Uh, so that's long-term capital gains, and I'll have about 68,000 in profit uh, after taxes. And then the market's gonna crash like it always does after the next bull run. When we see Bitcoin hit $100,000 or 125 or whatever it ends up doing, 85,000, we don't know. Uh, at some point, the market is gonna crash and we're gonna have another bear cycle, most likely, probably in 2027 and 2028, that somewhere in that time frame. And you're gonna see all of these altcoins drop again between 80 and 90%. Even these big blue chips are likely going to drop over 80% in the upcoming bear market. You know, even Ethereum hit, I think, 85 or 87% in this last uh, bear cycle here. So at some point it's going to crash and it's going to come down from a, a $350 price target that I'm guessing it at for the next bear market. And these are just approximate numbers, guys. I'm, I don't have a crystal magic ball that tells me what's going to happen for sure. But these are just uh, based off of historically what, what these coins will do uh, that are solid projects. So obviously some of them are never going to hit see their all-time high again. But most of those are projects that haven't added anything since their previous all-time high. So, uh, but, you know, like XRP, they never hit its all-time high again. But they had the SEC lawsuit fud over it that was really, really uh, coming down on its... Uh, price and affecting it in the last bull run so we don't know what it could have done in the last bull run had it not had that black cloud over it uh, so likely this is my price target for solana in the upcoming bear cycle i can see it getting to you know between the 55 and 70 dollar range as a, a bottom for solana and if i had sixty eight thousand dollars i could pick up a thousand solana for about that sixty eight dollar range now I'm probably going to be buying and adding more Solana with funds that I have available at that time to ensure that I accumulate a thousand Solana before the upcoming bull run in 2030 and uh, 2029 and 2030. So that's my potential uh, target for that. For that is a thousand a thousand Solana going into that next bull cycle. So I think Solana is going to easily pr likely hit a thousand dollars buy that uh, bull cycle, which would turn this into a million dollars. Now there's a possibility that Solana could really skyrocket in this bull run and hit a thousand dollars, but there's that would be absolutely 
freaking uh, crazy if it did that, but the possibility is there. You know, I think that that would put it, you know, probably, I don't know if it's uh, around, probably around 500 billion market cap or something uh, close to what Ethereum did in the previous bull run. That possibility is there, but it's not likely, so I'm not shooting for that $1,000 target this bull run. But I feel comfortable saying that I think Solana is going to hit $1,000 in the in the next bull run after that. And some people are like, well, why are you why are you planning for 2030, Dean? That's absolutely stupid. You don't even know if the next bull run is going to hit. Well, yeah, there's no guarantee that any bull run is going to hit. But a lot of people said that in the previous bear markets as well. They thought there was never going to be another bull market again. And you know what? It's It happened anyways. Uh, and all of these large financial institutions are, are predicting another bull market to come for crypto. All of the crypto projects are planning for another bull market. Every single one of them are building and planning their their strategy around the next bull run and the time frame for that. All of the uh, major investors like BlackRock are predicting Bitcoin to get to like $180,000 in the next bull run. That's probably not going to happen, guys, so don't plan on that. That's just what they're saying to get people ready to pump you up to think it's getting to $180,000. And then they're going to cut your heads off probably around $100,000 or so and surprise all of you people out there that think it's going to the moon. And they're going to dump all over you guys. And the rest of us who are smart are going to be taking our profits out on the way up to that mark. And, you know, when they cut our heads off, we're still going to be above the water in our profits. So uh, I'm prepared for it this time around. And I'm not going to let them, uh, I'm not going to fall for that game this time. And hopefully you guys don't either. But I'm going to grab a thousand Solana before that bear, before that, you know, during that next bear cycle. And I'm going to hopefully turn that into a million dollars by 2029 and 2030. And hopefully I'm going to be able to do this with a few different projects out there, at least one or two of them. So I can get, you know, one or two million by 2030. That's my goal is to get a couple million dollars uh, in crypto by the 2030 uh, mark. And I think that's a realistic goal based off from history and what crypto has done in the past. Now, I know, guys, it's not guaranteed, but I, it's fun to, to think about it happening and to, and to target for it. I'd rather shoot for that goal and for it to not make it or only halfway make it than to not shoot for it at all. You guys can go do what you want to do with your portfolio and what you believe is right for you. I'm sharing what I'm doing, what my strategies are. If you don't like it, you don't have to watch my channel. It's as simple as that. You know, I don't, I'm not holding your hand to tell you to go do this. I'm, you know, I'm just sharing with you what I'm going to do and what my plans are. If you want to copy what I'm doing, go for it, you know. Uh, feel free to do that, but I do appreciate you watching my channel, whether you agree with me or not. That you know, that's the beauty of the internet. We can all disagree, and we can all agree to disagree. So, uh, just like a lot of people out there hate Jasmine, but my, I know <laughs> my Jasmaniacs out there. It's one of the biggest followings there are, and I can tell you that the Jasmine community is one of the biggest because I watch the trends on YouTube, and the Jasmine videos get more views and likes than just about any of them out there. So you can't tell me that Jasmine is going to do squat in the next bull run because it's driven by emotion and it's driven by the community. And Jasmine has one of the biggest communities out there. Whether you, people who hate the coin or not want to believe it, it's going to do likely well in the next bull run just for that reason. The same reason that Pepe uh, shot to the moon, the same reason that uh, Shiba Inu shot to the moon and that Doge shot to the moon because of the communities and pushing those projects to the moon with their hype and belief in the project. Whether they have an actual utility or not really means squat in crypto. It really does because a crypto can have zero utility and it can still shoot to the moon just by hype. So keep that in mind. This is an emotionally driven market, not necessarily a utility driven market. So, so just think about that for a minute and understand why I, I think Jasmine and some of these other projects could do well. So uh, I would appreciate it, guys, if you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Uh, and please give this video a quick like to get this out to more viewers. Sorry for making this one probably longer than it needed to be, but I just feel like I have to 
express my feelings out there to some of you so I can eliminate having to respond to so many comments that are, you know, like negative in my, in my, uh, chat below. So, uh, but I would love to hear from you guys, negative or positive, uh, in the chat below, what you think of Solana and what your price targets are. And if you like this video or not, please let me know. I know some people love these videos. Some people hate them. That's fine. I'm, I'm going to get these out there to people who love them and share them with you guys. And hopefully we can build our portfolios for financial freedom together. Uh, please join the Discord. It's only $9.99 a month. And uh, the information's in the link in my description of the video and the pinned comment. And if you can't afford that, we've got the free Telegram. So I appreciate it, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Don't